The Trezor Safe 7 is one of the newest devices hitting the market to secure your Bitcoin, and it boasts some pretty interesting features like a fully open source secure chip and quantum readiness. And so with that, it's going to have to be battle tested. I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions. This is your daily session. We're going to dive right in. We're going to open this thing up and get started. Okay, so we're going to start off by powering on the device singular button on the side. I'm going to hold it and our main screen, it says tap to begin setup. So I'm going to tap it there. I can get the app by scanning this QR code or simply by searching it up on the app store. And so I'm going to show you that now and we can see the Trezor Suite app here, which I will open up. And it lets me know my data is private. So do you want that data to get transferred to Trezor? I'm actually going to turn that off and then I'm going to hit confirm. It says, do you want to enable biometrics to prevent unauthorized access to this app? I'm going to enable that for sure. And here we go. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting to the Trezor and I'm going to hit connect. Unlock your Trezor. Connect via Bluetooth. I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to say allow. And it gives me a little code up in the top of the Trezor, but we can also see it here on the screen. Uh, Trezor Safe 7 SXR. That is indeed correct. So I'm going to hit the connect button. And then it gives me a pairing code, and that's going to be present on both uh, my phone and the device itself. I'm going to choose to pair from my phone, and I'm going to hit the check mark here on the device as well. And there's one more let's get started button on the bottom that I will tap on my phone. And it says they're going to do a security check. My device was indeed bought from the official Trezor shop. So I will uh, check that off. I'll say yes. It says the holographic seal was complete and undamaged when I unboxed my device. That was the little band, the sticker along the bottom where the USB-C is. So I'm going to say yes. And the packaging, it was factory sealed and intact. And indeed it was. I'll say yes. Okay. Firmware installation, this is going to take a little bit of time, but I'm going to choose install now. Don't leave or close the app during the installation. So green button, there we go. Okay, upon completion, it will restart the device. And after a restart, it says firmware installed, you're all set, and I can hit continue on my phone. So it says we can create a secure connection with the device and my phone. I'll hit continue. And it says continue on my Trezor. Okay, so do I want to allow the Trezor suite to connect with my phone and pair with this Trezor? I'm going to hit confirm. This pin on my device, I'm going to enter in to my phone's app. So I'm going to type that in. 161226. Secure connection created. I can continue. And again, continue on my device. Do I want to allow the connected app to check the authenticity of my Trezor? I'm going to allow that. And I can see that my Trezor is genuine and I can hit continue. And then I can continue with the short tutorial or I can skip the tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and skip. So here in the app, it says get started with a new wallet here. It says let's protect your assets with a wallet backup. This is going to be a list of words that we're going to note down. Very important to keep these safe away from prying eyes, unlike I'm going to do in this video. So we are going to do what's known as a single share backup. It is the recommended default and we're going to make sure we're in a safe and private location. So I'm going to hold on the phone to start. OK, and we're going to continue on the Trezor itself. So the Trezor says by continuing you agree to the terms of use. So I'll hold to continue. Okay, so it says wallet created, I'll hit continue. And now we're gonna back up our new wallet. Continue again. We have 20 words that are going to be noted down. And actually we have this handy uh, recovery sheet that came with the device that we can use to do so. I'll hit continue. And again, never put it anywhere digital. That's very important. You don't want it in the cloud. And if somebody hacks your cloud account, that's bad news. Continue. And we see word number one, up and down arrows to navigate all the way through. So off screen, I'm going to write all of these down on the sheet provided. And we'll be right back. Let's do a quick check of your backup. And so it says, oh, what is word number five from your wallet backup? So I'll take a quick peek. It is boring. So I'll choose that. 
Word number eight I can see is crystal. And word number 20 I can see is tofu. And it says wallet backup completed, continue. And now I need to set a pin for my device. So we can see here, there's now a menu at the bottom. And if I tap that, it will show me pin not set and it highlights it because it's something that I need to do. So I'm going to tap on it. Pin will be required to access this device. And I'm going to set my new pin and it's scrambled here on the screens screen. So if somebody was trying to peek and based on my finger movements, copy me, it would not help them too much. Uh, but you do want to keep your pin safe. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to enter in a really basic pin for this tutorial. And then hit the check mark. And then it asks me to do it again and it scrambles the numbers. Okay, so it says that my pin is now finished and set up. I'm going to hit the menu at the bottom again. I have para connect, settings, power, all of that. And uh, that's pretty much that. The device itself is now functioning just fine. Okay, it is now asking me what assets would I like to add here? I'm just going to add Bitcoin right now. And then I'm going to hit confirm selection. And here we have it. We are dropped into the main screen of the Trezor Suite app, and it is currently paired with my device. Abundant Minds is an Oregon-based husband and wife-owned Bitcoin mining company, making Bitcoin mining accessible to investors of all ages and experience levels. Their fully managed white glove service allows you to own all of your own equipment and earn steady Bitcoin-denominated income without lifting a finger. Whether you're starting with 10,000 or 10 million, Abundant Minds is your one-stop shop. No overseas call center, no surprise upcharges. With one-on-one -on -one onboarding, consulting, and help navigating both Bitcoin and the Bitcoin mining space at every turn, you can rest easy while Bitcoin flows to you 24-7. Learn more at AbundantMinds.com. Bitcoin Well is the best place to be buying and selling Bitcoin in Canada and the US. And now with Bitcoin Well Infinite, it's also the best place to be making large buys at their OTC desk of over $50,000. Their white glove service gives you fast transactions, no slippage, and the lowest fees. You can scan the QR code on the screen or simply head to bitcoinwell.com slash BTC sessions to sign up today and you can share your own personalized referral link to earn commissions. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to receive our first Bitcoin transaction. I'm going to be receiving from a Bitcoin exchange known as Bitcoin Well. It's available in Canada and the US, and I'll link to a video down below if you do want to check them out. On my main screen, I can hit my receive button, which is right here. So I'll click on my Bitcoin account and it's going to bring me to this screen and it's going to say, hey, here's your account. This is how much is currently in it. And here's a Bitcoin address that is uh, partially obscured. And then it's going to say, show the full address if I want to tap that button, which I'm going to do. And then I'm going to confirm that the address on my phone here on the app is the same as the address on the device. So we'll do that now. All right. So having unlocked the device, I see the address. I can confirm it's the same one on my phone. So I'm going to hit confirm here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the Bitcoin address here and I'm going to jump over to my exchange account here on Bitcoin. Well, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose my destination wallet and I'm going to add a wallet and this is going to be my Trezor Safe 7. So I'll just call it a T7 for short and then I'll go in and I will paste in the Bitcoin address that I copied. So with that I can hit add and now any money that I send to Bitcoin Well will automatically be converted into Bitcoin and sent to my Trezor. And then we'll come back when we see that money land in our Trezor account. We can see that our transaction has now landed. And what we see is a few different things. So up top, we have a balance in dollars now. Now, if you're wondering about the discrepancy 
this app is denominated in US dollars, whereas Bitcoin, well, I'm in Canada. And so when I sent $50, uh, you know, there's an exchange rate. And yes, indeed, the Canadian dollar is that bad. But nonetheless, we received the Bitcoin that we wanted to get, and it is currently worth around 34 and a half US dollars. Now that we have Bitcoin, how do we go and send out of the wallet? We're going to do that next. Okay, so now we're going to try sending out of our Trezor suite with the help of our Trezor device to approve the transaction. So from my main screen here, I can hit send. Again, we only have one, so we're going to choose our Bitcoin account. And then it says, where would you like to send this and how much would you like to send? So we have a field here where we can paste in a Bitcoin address, so that long string, or we can scan a QR code, which is the same information. Now, I do have a uh, wallet pulled up here on my computer that I'm actually going to scan a QR code from so you can kind of see that. Uh, so I'm just going to tap this little square mini QR here to open up my camera. Uh, the first time I do this, it will ask me if I want to give uh, the, the phone permission to do so or the app permission. And so I'll say yes while using the app. And you can see there's my camera. And I'm actually going to scan this QR code from a wallet I have here on my phone. So I'm just scanning that and jumping back. You can see it fills in uh, the actual Bitcoin address from the wallet. Now I need to designate how much I want to send. In this instance, I'm going to send out the full balance and I can do that by just hitting the send max button here and it will show exactly what's going on. So I'm just going to choose continue down at the bottom. Now at this point, it allows me to select my transaction fee. Just a little side note on transaction fees in Bitcoin here. And it is that your transaction fee has nothing to do with the total amount that you're sending. It actually has to do with the amount of data that is required for your transaction, how busy the network is, and on your side, you get to decide how urgent is your transaction. So I'll select the high fee for this video. I'll hit review and sign. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit next. Compare the address with what's on your Trezor. If this address matches what is in the wallet on my computer, then I'm good to go. And it says I'm sending 31,900 sats. So there's the amount that I'm sending. Once again, I have a confirm button that I can hit. And then finally, it gives me the total amount and that includes the fee to send. So there's this hold to sign button. I'm gonna hold it. And off it goes. And now that I've approved it with the Trezor itself, I can hit send transaction. Perfect. And so now it has been sent. Again, as I said, Bitcoin transactions can take around 10 minutes to settle if it's uh, uh, done with a high enough fee. And if I jump over to my wallet here, I get a notification that shows an incoming transaction that I can see right here in Sparrow. So we've now successfully both received and sent with our Trezor wallet. Now, what happens if you lose or break your Trezor? Well, this is where your backup seat phrase, your 20 words that you've written down come in handy. So I'm gonna choose recover and it says to get my wallet backup, which I have handy here, I'm gonna hit continue. And so it says, continue on your Trezor. And so we're going to mainly be focusing on the device now. So again, we have our basic terms of use. We'll hold here. And now it says, select the number of words in your backup. So we have 20 in our backup. So we're going to select that. Enter each word of your wallet backup in order. Continue. And they have some grouped letters together here. Uh, so my first word is patrol. And so I'm going to find the grouping of letters with the P in it. So one, two, three. I'm going to go all the way through my entire list of words that I have here. And with my 20th word entered, it says wallet recovery completed. I continue. At this point, it's going to take us through our pin setup as we've had before. We'll choose our coins. And any previous accounts that we had 
are now recovered. And we know this because actually I can see a spike in the balance up and down. Uh, but furthermore, it auto loads uh, this Bitcoin account. And if I tap on it, um, I'm actually able to see the previous transactions that were done by this wallet, even though there's a zero balance at this point in time. So we've been able to successfully recover our funds by putting in our 20 word seed phrase into Yes, the same device, but it could be a brand new one if you were to break or lose your Trezor. And then you can access and view your accounts via your mobile phone once again. Congratulations, you just finished getting through the basics of using your Trezor Safe 7. But did you know that there is so much more to learn? This thing has a lot more going for it. So if you want to level up from the basics that you just got through and become an expert in the Trezor Safe 7, then be sure to click the link and follow through to my full in-depth tutorial covering everything that you need to know about the Trezor Safe 7. I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions. This was your daily session. CoinKite has been in the game for years creating hands down the best and most secure hardware when it comes to securing your Bitcoin. The Cold Card Q is an absolute powerhouse and my daily driver and it's ideal for newcomers and advanced users alike. The Tab Signer gives you a low cost, user friendly option for those just getting started or for convenience when traveling. You can head to coinkite.com and use code BTC sessions for discounts or simply scan the QR code on the screen to get started right away.